This video explains the pronunciation of the Estonian plosive consonants p, t, g. Plosives are consonants that are pronounced with a full closure in the mouth. These consonants can be heard once pressure that builds up behind the closure is released. Estonian consonants do not have a voiced, voiceless contrast. Thus, we do not have voiced plosives. In the orthography, you will find the letters g, b, d, which mark voiced plosives in many languages. But in Estonian, they are short, while the letters k, p, t mark long voiceless plosives and k, p, t are used to mark overlong voiceless plosives. Yes, this is confusing. Estonian plosives are unaspirated which means that you do not produce a noticeable breath sound when releasing the closure. All of the plosives in Estonian are voiceless at the beginning of words. P is a voiceless bilabial plosive, which means that you create a pressurized closure by pressing together both of your lips and then releasing it. Your vocal cords do not vibrate while articulating P. In orthography, we differentiate between voiceless p and voiced p, but they are actually both voiceless. For example, you might remember the previous example taba versus tapa. P occurs in Estonian words like pop, pusha, pal, taba. A similar sound is also found in English words like plow, prop, spot. It is important to notice that the Estonian p is not aspirated, so it is more like in the word plow than in the word pow. T is a voiceless alveolar plosive that you pronounce by creating a pressurized closure between your tongue tip and the alveolar region of your mouth behind your teeth. Your vocal cords do not vibrate while pronouncing t. In orthography, we differentiate between voiceless t and voiced t, but they are actually both voiceless. For example, the t in kote sounds very similar to the t in kote. T occurs in Estonian words like pat, tat, tuba, tivan. A similar sound can be also found in English words like twist, twig, trick. It is important to notice that in the word twig is not aspirated as it is in the word tuck. T can become palatalized when it's followed by a high front vowel or the approximate consonant. The produced a palatalized t you raise the back of your tongue towards the hard palate, while the tip of your tongue constriction remains against the alveoli. In some cases, palatalization changes the meaning of words, for example, in nut, nut, rut, rut. T occurs in Estonian words like kut, rut, vait. English does not make the distinction between palatalized and non-palatalized consonants, but examples can be found in Russian words like might or diotia. K is a voiceless velar plosive. You articulate this sound by pushing the back of your tongue towards the soft palate, also known as the velar region of your mouth. To pronounce this sound, you create pressure in the glottis. Your vocal cords do not vibrate while producing k. In orthography, we differentiate between voiceless k and voiced k, but they are actually both voiceless. For example, the k in sag sounds very similar to the k in sag. K occurs in Estonian words like kuk, kurk, Oag. A similar sound can also be found in English words like crab, clock, 
clear. It is important to notice that k in the word crab is not aspirated as it is in the word coal.